Got a, we've got a Hello Solid State Relay, a DC power supply, and a Walbro 450. Uh, here's the circuit. We've got the DC power supply, 12 volts, and ground to the relay. We've also have ground and 12 volts to the pump. And then our final pin on the relay is going to be our signal pin. Um, right now, uh, it's connected to the same ground that the 12 volts is. Um, and what we want for this is we want it to cycle between open and uh, 12 volts, or floating and 12 volts. Um, so right now, uh, it's floating, there's nothing on it. Um, that would be as if the mega squirt wasn't on, or the mega squirt, you know, the car's off, whatever, and as you can see, the pump's not running. Uh, so what we want is when we ground this, which is what the mega squirt fuel, out, fuel pump output does, we ground this, we turn the pump on. So, stick this in there. Ground, pump turns on. Ground, pump turns on. You can see I can touch it over and over. So, if you do that 250 times a second, like the Mesurit can do, uh, you end up with less fuel pump, or less fuel flow and pressure than if it was running uh, the whole time full power. Um, so this is a very simple install. What I'm going to do is jump the fuel pump relay in the stock location so I get a direct connection from the ECU directly to this relay. This relay is going to have a 12 gauge wire running for positive and negative to the battery and then 12 gauge wire positive and negative to the fuel pump. Uh, as you can see I've got these two wires in the bulkhead connector. Each of these are 14 gauge wires. They're each going to be both two. So a pair is going to be connected for each 12 gauge wire out of the relay. And you come down in here and you can see that they go to 12 gauge wire to the pump. Um, so that's how you do PWM pump control with a Walbro 450 and a DC power supply.